students you must be knowing that on primitive earth life was formed from non-living materials by chemical evolution later on chemical evolution was replaced by biological or organic evolution complex forms of plants and animals present now have been formed from simple organisms through gradual changes in due course of time we human beings have evolved from apes and apes like organisms and this process took millions of years in every generation of organisms certain changes definitely occur and these changes may be due to different reasons like increased adaptations functional efficiency etc bachcho tusi samajh hi gaye hovoge ki assi kis bare gal karan ja rahe ha a evolution de process bare hai jis nal life forms which continuous changes aundiya han so organic evolution is a process of continuous changes in living population and in descendant populations of organisms it is also called as descent with modification evolution de vakh vakh mile sabuta to e gal ta clear hai ki evolution hoyi hai te living organisms kai lakha saala vich simple to complex organisms vich badle han is sare nu explain karan layi samay samay te kai theories propose kitiya gaiyan so students welcome to today's lesson which is about different theories of evolutions like lamarckism darwinism and devery's mutation theories but before discussing mysteries of evolution first let me share the learning objectives on completion of this topic learners will be able to explain postulates of lamarck's theory discuss the postulates in favor and against lamarckism explain the theory of natural selection or darwinism explain yuga de vries mutation theory discuss the postulates in favor and against mutation theory students First of all we will discuss Lamarckism. Is theory no inheritance of acquired character we keha janda hai. Is theory no ek French biologist Jean Baptiste de Lamarck ne propose kita si. Lamarck wrote a famous book Philosophic Zoologique and explained theory of inheritance of acquired characters in 1809. This theory is based on the idea that an organism can pass on characteristics that it acquired during its lifetime to its offspring it proposed that organisms adapt themselves to their surrounding environment therefore they undergo certain changes these changes acquired during the lifetime passed on to the next generation let us discuss these postulates postulates of lamarckism new needs change in the environmental factors like light temperature medium food air etc or migration of animals from one area to another leads to new needs which bring about changes in habits or behavior of living organisms use and disuse of organs the use and disuse of organs bring about changes in form structure and functioning of organs continuous use of organs makes them more efficient while continued disuse of organs lead to degeneration so the organisms acquire certain new characters due to direct and indirect environment effect during its own life span and are called 
acquired characters inheritance of acquired character whatever characters an organism acquired during lifetime are inherited to next generation it means traits changed or acquired over an individual's lifetime could be passed down to its offsprings it was best explained that giraffes that had acquired long necks would have offsprings with long necks rather than short necks their parents were born with this inheritance was called lamarckian inheritance according to lamarck in every generation new characters are added these new characters accumulate generation after generation and a new species is formed lamarck concluded that an existing individual is the sum total of characters acquired by a number of previous generations and speciation is a gradual process evidences in favor of lamarckism lamarck ne apni theory nu kai udaharana nal explain karan di koshish kiti aao kuch udaharana te nazar mariye evolution of giraffe students shape and size of present day giraffe took years to have this form the ancestors of giraffe were deer like having a small neck and small limbs due to deficiency of food on barren grounds they had to stretch their neck and four limbs and in this way present day giraffe with long neck and long four limbs were formed bachcho giraffe di udaharan nal ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਚੰਗੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਹੋਵੇਗਾ ਕਿ ਜਿਰਾਫ ਇੱਕ ਡੀਅਰ ਵਰਗੇ ਆਰਗੈਨਿਜ਼ਮਸ ਤੋਂ ਐਵੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਨਾਲ ਕਈ ਲੱਖਾਂ ਵਰਿਆਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਣਿਆ ਆਓ ਹੁਣ ਲਮਾਕ ਦੇ ਪੋਸਟੂਲੇਟਸ ਯੂਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਡਿਸਯੂਜ਼ ਆਫ ਆਰਗਨਸ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਇੱਕ ਉਦਾਹਰਨ ਨਾਲ ਸਮਝੀਏ ਡਿਸਪੀਅਰੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਲਿੰਬਸ ਇਨ ਸਨੇਕਸ ਸਨੇਕਸ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਇਵੋਲਵਡ ਫਰਮ ਲਿਜ਼ਰਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਐਂਸੈਸਟਰਸ ਵਿਚ ਵਰ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ two pairs of limbs due to continuous disuse of limbs they had to lose their limbs it will be more clear to you with another example webbed feet of aquatic birds water birds developed their webbed feet by constant stretching of skin of the feet in swimming over water surface evidence against lamarckism bachcho assi lamark de postulates pade unna vichcho pehle do nu ta manyata mili par tija postulate inheritance of acquired character disputable hai major criticism of lamarckism came from german biologist august wiesmann who suggested theory of continuity of germplasm According to this theory of Wiesmann the characters influencing the germ cells are only inherited there is continuity of germplasm but protoplasm of somatic cells is not transmitted to next generation here you must be astonished to know that Wiesmann cut off tails of rats for many generations and allowed them to breed but tailless rats were never formed similarly if the parents become blind or deaf or lame before producing the offspring they do not produce the blind or deaf or lame offspring you know parati aurta apne nak ate kan vinaundiyan han par tusi kade kise bacche nu vinne kan ja nak nal paida hoye vekhya hai jawab hai nahi All the examples discussed here prove that the acquired characters are not inherited in the next generation so lamarckism was rejected certain experiments have revealed the effect of environment on germ cells in vegetatively propagated plants the somatic cells can give rise to a plant containing germ cells Harrison 
demonstrated the effect of environment on germ cells through somatic cells in moths. Another scientist, Tower, was able to observe the effect of environment directly on germ cells by providing abnormal temperature and humidity to the developing beetles. Such observations have revived Lamarckism in modified form, that is, Neo-Lamarckism. Now, we will talk about modified form of Lamarckism, that is, Neo-Lamarckism, supported by scientists like Spencer, Cope and McDougall. It states, germ cells are not always immune from the effects of environment. The variations which affect germ cells are passed on to offspring. Germ cells may be directly affected by environment without any effects on somatic cells. Bacho, to anu pata hai ki pave lamarckism apne aap which incomplete hai, te sare evolutionary changes nu explain nahi kar sakda. पर एक कुछ हद तक ठीक है क्योंकि ज्यादातर एक ऑर्गेनिज्म दे कैरेक्टर्स इनहेरिटेबल फैक्टर अते एनवायरमेंटल कंडीशंस दी इंटरेक्शन कारण पैदा हुंदे हन असी लमार्किज्म अते नियो लमार्किज्म तो बाद एवोल्यूशन दी दूजी थ्योरी यानी डार्विनिज्म या डार्विन्स थ्योरी ऑफ नेचुरल सिलेक्शन बारे पढ़ांगे the profounder of this theory was Charles Darwin. Darwin was an English naturalist who realized that all species of life have descended over time from common ancestors and proposed the scientific theory that this branching pattern of evolution resulted from a process that he called as natural selection. He got an opportunity to explore Galapagos Island in 1831. He noticed great varieties amongst organisms living on this island. The common birds of Galapagos Islands, the finches, were markedly different from finches of mainland. The closely related species of finches had beaks of different shapes and sizes and adapted for feeding on completely a different diet. Darwin's study of animals of Galapagos Islands played a key role in development of theory of evolution by means of natural selection. In 1838, Darwin read an essay on the principles of population by T. R. Malthus and got an idea about the struggle for existence within all populations due to reproductive pressure and limited resources. Later on, in 1858, Darwin received a brief essay from Alfred Wallace on the tendencies of varieties to depart indefinitely from original type. Finally, in 1859, Darwin and Wallace's views about evolution were considered as darwin Wallace theory. Postulates of Darwinism Main postulates of Darwinism are Geometrical increase All the population tend to multiply geometrically because the organisms possess enormous fertility and reproductive power of living organisms are much more required to maintain their number. Example Codfish produces 1 million eggs per year. Similarly, insects lay hundreds of eggs per laying. Plants produce thousands of seeds per season. Limited food and space. As we have come to know that the number of organisms increases geometrically, but food, space, and other resources are limited. The two main factors which may control tremendous increase of a population 
are limited food and space, which together form the major part of carrying capacity of environment. These do not allow a population to grow indefinitely. Struggle for existence Due to the geometrical increase in population and limited food and space, struggle between different individuals having similar requirements starts. This struggle can be intraspecific, interspecific and environmental. Intraspecific struggle between the members of same species. Interspecific struggle between the members of different species. Environmental factors struggle between living organisms and adverse environment like heat, cold, floods, earthquakes, etc. You know, out of these three forms of struggle, the intraspecific struggle is the strongest type of struggle because needs of members of the same species are almost same. Appearance of variations Differences among individuals are called variations. Due to struggle or competition among the individuals, they have to bring about changes according to the conditions. Due to these changes or variations, some individuals are better adapted to the environment. So these variations are gradual or continuous, which help the individual to adapt to environment. Natural selection or survival of fittest. The individuals having more favorable variations have competitive advantages over others that possess less favorable variations like the fast running deer has more chances of survival when chased by a lion than the slow running deer. Organisms that are well adapted to the environment are fit to survive in struggle for existence. Selective advantage is provided by any favorable variation in an individual over the other. Individuals with favorable variations are selected by nature. At the same time, unfavorable variations have a selective disadvantage and individuals with less variations are rejected by nature. This sorting out of individuals with useful variations by nature was named as survival of the fittest by Herbert Spencer and natural selection by Darwin. Inheritance of useful variation. Darwin explained that naturally selected individuals pass their useful variations to the next generation and non-useful variations are eliminated. Speciation When useful variations are passed on to the next generation. So these useful variations accumulate and the individual turns into new species. So formation of new species takes place by gradual changes in older ones. Bachyo, to see Darwinism de postulates nu bohat hi detail which samaj liya hai. Par Lamarck di theory di tarah hi kuch sabut is theory nu favor kar de han te kuch against han. Aao pehla asi unna evidences bare padhiye jede ki Darwinism di favor vich han. Evidences in favor of Darwinism. Yes, it is true that reproduction is many times higher than rate of survival of all organisms. Space and food are also limited. Variations in the individuals are so abundant that no two individuals are alike. There is a close parallelism between natural selection and artificial selection. Artificial selection has been practiced by human beings to improve plants and animals domesticated by him time to time. 
a large number of improved varieties of various domestic animals such as horses, dogs, sheep, pigs, etc. have evolved through artificial selection. Animal breeders have produced the toy-like Shetland pony, the Great Dane dog and sleek Arabian race horse. Similarly, a large number of desirable and improved varieties of various crop plants like cereals, legumes, fiber crops, fruits and ornamental plants have also been produced by plant breeders by different methods of artificial selection. Like artificial selection, nature with its vast resources can also select the individuals easily. Mimicry and protective coloration are also due to natural selections. It can be achieved only through gradual changes taking place simultaneously in both model and mimic. Position of nectaries in the flowers and length of proboscis of the pollinating insect are correlated. Evidences against Darwinism Kai cases nu Darwin theory explain nahi kar sakdi. Jive natural selection theory a explain ta kar di hai ki useful variations transmit hundia han par a vi vekhan vich aya hai ki non useful variations vi transfer ho jandia han. Udharan te taur te underdeveloped wings ta birds nu koi fayda nahi. Darwin di theory a vi explain nahi kar saki कि कुछ ऑर्गेनिजम्स विच कुछ ऑर्गन्स ओवर स्पेशलाइज्ड होंदे हन जिवे एंटलर्स ऑफ डियर नेचुरल सिलेक्शन थ्योरी वेस्टिजियल ऑर्गन्स दी नेक्स्ट जनरेशन विच ट्रांसफर नु भी एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर सकी ए थ्योरी एनिमल्स विच कुछ ऑर्गन्स दी डीजेनरेशन नु भी एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर सकी सो so, a theory survival of fittest nu ta explain kar pai par arrival of fittest nu explain nahi kar pai after discussing darwinism now we will discuss hugo de vries mutation theory hugo de vries mutation theory this theory was proposed by dutch botanist hugo de vries in 1901 according to this theory New species are not formed by continuous variation but by sudden appearance of variations which he named as mutations. These mutations are heritable. This theory was based on experiments on plants evening primrose or Oinothera lamarckiana. Based on the observations of the plants, Hugo de Vries concluded that mutations cause evolution which leads to species formation. De Vries suggested that evolution is a jerky and discontinuous process and not a gradual process. All of a sudden, an existing species can give rise to a new species because of mutations. De Vries found from his observations on Oinothera lamarckiana that some plants were quite different from their parents. They showed marked differences in flower size, leaf shape, stem color, seed size and growing habits. Finally, a new type of plant quite longer than the original parent was produced and was named as Oinothera gigas. These plants were termed as mutants and heritable changes are termed as mutations. Postulates of Mutation Theory It states, Mutations are raw material for evolution. 
mutations appear all of a sudden. Same types of mutation appear in many individuals of a species. All mutations are inheritable. Useful mutations are selected by nature and harmful lethal mutations are eliminated. Evolution is a discontinuous and jerky process. Evidences in favor of mutation theory. Mutations have given rise to new varieties like appearance of short-legged sheep in a single generation. This mutation is very useful for farmers. This theory can explain the inheritance of vestigial and over-specialized organs. Even single mutation can form new variety and species of plants like delicious apple, red sunflower, etc. Criticism of Mutation Theory Not able to explain the development of mimicry and protective coloration. Development of relationship between position of nectaries in flowers and length of proboscis in these pollinating insects. It cannot occur suddenly due to mutations in different organisms. Chromosomal numerical changes as suggested by De Vries are unstable. This theory also failed to explain the role of nature. So, Bacho, a see evolution dia tino theories no detail which discuss kita. Ate ina sariya da e nichor hai ki evolution hon lei natural selection ate isolation of mutants zaruri han. I hope you all have enjoyed learning about Lamarckism, Darwinism, and D. Wary's mutation theory. Let me summarize the entire topic for you. Organic evolution is a process of continuous changes in living population and in descendant populations of organisms. It is also called as descent with modification. Different theories have been put forward to explain evolution. The theories which we discussed are Lamarck's theory of inheritance of acquired characters, Darwin's theory of natural selection, and Hugo de Vary's mutation theory. Lamarck's theory was put forward by French biologist Jean Baptiste de Lamarck. Darwin's theory was propounded jointly by Darwin and Wallace. Darwin's theory is also known as theory of natural selection. Mutation theory was put forward by Dutch botanist Hugo de Vries in 1901. Now I will check how much attentive you were in the class. All of you should try and answer the question before I give you answers. The first question is define organic evolution. The answer is Organic evolution is a process of continuous change in living population and in descendant population of organism. The next question is, give three word definition of organic evolution. Answer, these three words are descent with modification. Next question is, who proposed the theory of continuity of germplasm? The answer is August Wiesman proposed the theory of continuity of germplasm. My next question is name the main postulates of Lamarckism. And the answer is the main postulates of Lamarckism are new needs, use and disuse of organs, and inheritance of acquired character. The next question is, name the theory of evolution given by Lamarck. The answer is, Lamarck gave the theory of inheritance of acquired characters. 
the next question is who disapproved the theory of inheritance of acquired characters and the answer is august wiesman disapproved the theory of inheritance of acquired characters the next question is name the scientists who put forward darwinism the answer is charles darwin and a r wallis my next question is who wrote the principles of population and the answer is t r malthus the next question is what do you mean by survival of fittest the answer is best adapted individuals are selected by nature and less fit and unfit individuals are rejected by nature my next question is give the term for sudden and inheritable changes and the answer to this is mutation next question which theory of evolution supported origin of ancon sheep and the answer is hugo de veri's mutation theory I am confident that you have learnt enough about these three theories Lamarckism Darwinism and Hugo de Veri's mutation theory and enjoyed the lesson as much as I did looking forward for the next class thanks for your attention and see you next time